Now today is a spooky holiday. You know, Corrales and I are already in the spirit and right now there are plenty of families either already out trick or treating or if you're watching this, maybe you're getting ready to head out that way. This year, one little rock mom is helping out her neighbors in a special way. THV 11's Jade Jackson is live from Brody Creek where kids are already getting started. I see they look pretty excited behind you, Jade. How's the candy hall looking? Well, guys, like you said, I'm out here. Guys, I'm out here and there's festivities going underway that you see with all these little trick or treaters out here. <laughs> it's giving trick or treat. Don't smell my feet, but definitely give me something good to eat. But with Halloween, the spirit of Halloween comes safety. And that little rock mom decided that she want to be considerate to her neighbors who might be cautious about COVID as well as people who might have kids with allergies. And so she decided to put her kids together for an idea. And this is what she decided to do. Pretzels and then bags of candy. In front of pumpkins that aren't orange. The teal pumpkin is a sign for allergy free. Eight year old Avery considering kids who can't eat candy like her. Here's a bag for an example. You will get uh, all these things. Like this one has a yo yo and this one doesn't. You'll get a sticker and a pencil and then t probably two or three. Toys. I suggested that we create a spreadsheet and collect a list of everyone's houses and what their candy setup was going to be like so that those who may not feel comfortable actually going door to door knew the homes that would have stuff set up in the driveway and if they would have an allergy free section of options as well. Jessica Duff shared this spreadsheet with the neighborhood so that everyone could be included and thought of. Hours before Halloween, Avery and her four year old brother Landon out playing before they go trick or treating. I'm going to be Evie from a descent movie and this boy is going to be Groot. I'm Groot. Remember to take care of those kiddos who might have some sensory issues or may not be um, comfortable going up and ringing the doorbell. I think he's a shy Groot. Eager to put on their costumes. Groot, it's Groot, it's Groot. I am Groot. And be different for the night. There's a little heart with a crown on it. While considering others who may be different from them. Ha, ha. Now, now other parents in the neighborhood told me that they're really appreciative of the chart. Um, and it's a reminder that it is a school night. So that means we want you guys to stay safe and be vigilant. Reporting live out here in Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News.